take a look at this create statement. We're creating our table, employee column or two. We've got all our columns in there, but it's an OPI. We know that's for columnar and it's partition by column. But I need you to see that EMPNO and DEPNO get their own containers. First name, last name, and salary are going to be in the same container. Quite often we might do this if those are queried together. Or think of it this way. We might have a table that's got 300 columns. The first five are queried somewhat interchangeably the most often, and we could actually have the first five as their own containers, and then the other 295 in one big container. That's the options that Columnar gives you. This is what that's going to look like. We've got EMPNO as its own container, DEPNO, and then of course first name, last name, and salary right there. You can see the top's a normal table, and below we've got our containers for the columns. One of the great things about Columnar is they're able to compress the table quite a bit with a wide variety of compression techniques. But you can say no auto compress and it will not compress at all, which makes the load a little bit faster. What I want you to see here though is the real point that I can actually take a table, have a piece of that table as a columnar form, and another piece of that table in a row form which might be good for multi-value compression. So, you know, when you think of columnar, I like to think of each column's got its own container. Okay, you take it further, well, most of the time they have their own container, unless you want to group some together. But in this case, hey, listen, this is really interesting because we've got two of these as column containers and then the rest of them as a row-based. We can mix and match, and this is called a hybrid. Here's an example of what we just created. Two column containers and the rest of it row containers. We often will create these row stores as they're called because someone says, hey listen, I need first name, last name, and salary in the query and it goes blocks moved, data's processed.